Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. In a recent video, I mentioned a type of pattern from Slovenia called a Slovak Heavy Nymph. And I thought um, I better explain what that was a little better, and I'll just do it in a video form. So I've got a check nymph hook in the vise here. Um, this is a bigger one. This is a size 8, but you can tie this much smaller. But what this fly does is it, it incorporates a lot of weight and um, allows you to get down to the bottom of a, a short, fast, deep pool um, like you would have in a lot of steep gradient rivers. And so what you're going to do is, is put on a lot of weight. So I'm going to put on some lead wire here. This is um, Hen's flat wire. And what we're going to do is start with the base layer. And when we get to the front, we'll just go back over it again. Don't go all the way to the end of your your first layer and just keep going until you get kind of a giant kind of football shaped. use up this whole strip here even though I broke it and again you can tie these in different weights if you want you know different size hooks different amount of weight on on the hook um, that short piece is kind of tricky to wrap on there come on okay so now I've got a ton of weight on there what you're going to want to do to keep that from sliding around on you is use a little super glue just to kind of hold everybody in place here. A little brush on super glue. And now I'm going to take fairly heavy thread. This is 210 denier in olive. You can tie this in a variety of colors. Olive, cream. It'd be a good crane fly larva pattern in fast water. It's kind of a a check nymph on steroids that you then coat in UV resin at the end. Kind of a, a fly that when I first saw it, it looked like a big snail pattern almost. They're so thick and fat with lead under underneath. Um, but I started fishing them in fast water and thinking that it's just a good vehicle to get your other flies down with. And the surprising thing was fish were eating the weight fly um, just as much as they were the dropper I'd send down with it. So it's one of those things where you kind of notion of something changes as you as you fish it. But definitely could see the advantage of having this, this fly to help get down in fast water. So now I'm going to tie in, like the originals I've seen, a wire rib, copper wire. A lot of thread goes on these puppies. Make sure you cover that up. We're kind of getting into the, the shape of one of those flies here. Smooth out my thread and just go over that one more time. Go to the front of the fly. Do a half hitch so it doesn't slide off on me. We'll rib our can rib our fly here. You could do like in the the jig video I did. Um, you can do um, a cool kind of contrast by using a light color thread and doing a, a thread rib over the top of it which gives it a cool larva like look I'm going to go ahead and hold that wire, tight it off wiggle that till this comes off, come on there we go 
do a quick, quick whip finish on this olive thread. Turn around that there, come on. And then there's a hot spot on these flies at the front. So I'll take a, a datum floss or datum floss that I've got on a bobbin. Make my hot spot at the front. Do a whip finish. Okay. So now we're going to take UV resin and just coat the whole thing. Need a fair amount. Start with that. up a little bit more this is definitely a fly that if you've been using tight line nymphing techniques in really fast water but still haven't felt like you're getting down fast enough you've got a really steep gradient stream tie these in you know a few different sizes and colors depending on how much weight you need you know a bigger fly with more lead is obviously going to sink a lot faster but you can get down to the bottom of some really deep pools with these flies very very quickly just kind of make sure that's all Nice and even here. Roll it around a little bit. And once it's smoothed out, move a little bit of this back in here a little bit. Hit that with your light. And there you have it. Kind of a silly looking fly in some ways, but um, definitely a great pattern for weight. And you can mess around with it on the, the pattern I referenced earlier is a little jig, jig pattern. And what I've done there is kind of taken that shellacked look, put a thread body with a light thread, um, light colored thread, and then a, a rib of a darker contrasting thread over the top. And then coated the whole thing and this is a very quick sinking fly as well both of these flies sink very quickly because there's nothing on the the very streamlined in terms of not having any any um, resistance and going through the water column you've got that nice smooth heavy fly that that drops right to the bottom cuts through the current and gets your 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 whole team of flies to the bottom very quickly and um, surprisingly, like I said, you'd be surprised at how many fish will, will take a grab at, at this big weight pattern. So it, it's a nice kind of dual purpose fly where it's getting your flies down quickly and it's also catching fish. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Thanks for watching.